What's up guys, it's Room here from Inbox Official, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Google Nexus 4. Uh, I've been using this phone for a couple weeks now, and I've come up with a small review for you guys, so let's get into it. So this is the newest model of the Nexus in the Nexus series of devices. Uh, it's manufactured by LG, and currently there's only a black model for this device. Uh, but this device does look very, very expensive, very sleek, and uh, as you can see it has a 4.7 inch IPS display with a resolution of 768 by 1280 and a pixel density of 318 pixels per inch. Um, this means it is slightly lower than the iPhone pixel density but since it has a larger screen it will look just or better than the iPhone screen. Um, it doesn't have any buttons so as you can see it's only capacitive buttons. Um, they're touch screen buttons so like when you click them and when you lock the device it, they do go away. Um, at the back, as you can see, it has a 8 megapixel rear camera along with LED flash and has the speaker grill right over there. NFC is enabled at the back. Nice little Nexus logo. And a cool feature about this device is it actually shines or like sparkles. If you guys can see that, there's like sparkles all over the back. At the front, as I said before, 4.7 inch. You got a 1.3 megapixel camera. And that is actually pretty much it. There's nothing else on the front other than the speaker grill for uh, listening when you talk or call someone. Inside you got the volume rockers, power button, SIM card tray right over there, uh, headphone jack, and the charging port right over there. And that is pretty much the hardware. There's nothing more to this device. It's very simple. It also has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor along with 2 gigabytes of RAM. And that is pretty impressive for a mobile device. I mean, like my computers didn't even have a quad core processor. So this device is just super fast, blaze through the pages without any lag. Anyways, uh, this device is running Jelly Bean 4.2.2. And this is um, the newest operating system from Android. I believe only, ne only the Nexus devices are running this operating system currently. So as you can see, Android 4.2.2, right there, if you guys can see that. This device does come with a 2100 milliamp hour battery and is sealed into this device so you can't take it out. Um, you could take off the back piece if you unscrew these two little screws at the bottom, but um, that will avoid your manufacturer warranty. So I just recommend, you know, you don't really need a replaceable battery. It's already made in there and it's a better battery than the iPhone battery because the iPhone is 1400 milliamp hours and this is 2100. And it gets me through around a day, but if you're a heavy user, I recommend carrying a charger around with you. And this phone is also a pen-to-band phone, so it will work on all networks around the world, such as T-Mobile, Mobilicity, Videotron, TELUS, Rogers, AT&T, um, and pretty much any network you can think of because it has a uh, pen-to-band. And as I said before, it is NFC enabled, so um, if you have another device, if you have another device, you can just touch them, and you can share like things using Android Beam. You can share like web pages, music, um, pretty much anything, contacts, which is another pretty cool feature. And the cool thing about um, Jelly Bean is that this doesn't have a skin on it. So as you guys probably know, the Galaxy S3 has TouchWiz UI on it. HTC has HTC Sense 5. LG has its own custom user interface. So as you can see, this is just pure Jelly Bean. There's no skins on top of it. Um, and therefore, this device is a little bit faster. So just to show you how fast it is, let's load up an app. Um, let's load up Temple Run 2. I guess that's a pretty heavy app. Clear all the cache. Bam. As you can see, the device did load up really, really quickly. You can already get into the game, you know. And you close it right away. And if you want to get back in it, you just want to click the uh, multitasking, open it back up, and it loads up from the same spot. So that's the good thing about 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, let's now do a browser test to so show you how fast the web pages load and like the quality of the web pages. Let's open up my newspaper. So. So as you can see, let's click the star, there we go. This is on my Wi-Fi, so. As you can see, the, the text does look quite nice. Um, this is like a newspaper app for Toronto. Uh, if you guys don't live in Toronto, you probably don't know what this is then. Um, shows a bunch of news. As you can see, the uh, quality of the actual text is very, very like HD. Um, 
I guess, I don't really think you can see it, but uh, you wouldn't see any pixelation. Let's open up another app, such, uh, website such as nb.com. And it does, look very, it does load up very, very fast um, for a mobile device. It is just very nice. The colors on this device are very vivid, very bright. Um, the blacks are very dark. The blues are bluish, as you can see. And the text does look very nice like in person I don't think you'll see it over the camera but it does look quite nice um, another cool feature is that Google Now is like Siri um, for the Nexus 4 it's implemented into every Android device except in the Nexus 4 it's actually built into it so if you just swipe up from the home screen you get into Google Now and as you can see it will um, load up pre it's pretty much like a personal assistant it'll tell you pretty much anything you uh, want to do. Let's say you're next to like a store, it'll tell you like what's on sale. Let's say you're next to a bus stop, it'll tell you when the bus is coming. It tells you the weather. Pretty much tells you anything. Uh, as you can see, sample cards, public transit, like traffic, sports, appointments, pretty much anything you can think of. And, and the camera on this device is actually pretty cool. They have this new feature called like 3D Sphere. Uh, I won't be able to show you through it, but if um, to use it, you go over here. There's a bunch of features like panorama, video, sphere, and like normal camera. So sphere is pretty much like panorama, except you go in a 3D mode all the way around, like in a circle. Um, it's pretty cool. I've used it a couple times, and it makes a picture like 3D and like in a sphere-ish. Well, that's the purpose of it. Uh, just, I think it's better than panorama mode. And lastly, this is the 8 gigabyte model, so it does cost $300 unlocked from Google Play, which is a very good plus. Uh, this device is cheap and it looks very sleek. Um, but the bad thing is it is made out of glass, so if you drop it from like, I don't know, shoulder height, it will probably crack your device. Um, probably get a few cracks on the back, on the front. So I definitely recommend getting a case for this device as it is made of fully of glass. Um, as I said before, $300 for the 8 gigabyte model. 16, uh, 350 for the 16 gigabyte model, and there isn't uh, expandable storage, so you can't just pop in a micro SIM card, or I mean a micro SD card. It won't work. So you have to stay with either 8 gigabytes or 16. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best Android ha handsets out there on the market right now. Uh, I definitely recommend picking this up if you're looking for a brand new Android device with no skins on it, just pure jelly bean, and a very fast user experience. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.